but apart from that friendship, no evidence has been presented before you, Your Honor. As to their capacity to influence and compare the accused person to attend court. Who, as we have already heard from her counsel, is a very prominent person. Your Honor, I will just address you on this issue. It is one that I need for my comment. Mayor, for my client, a one today. And I will be requesting this court that I be given time later on that we can apply for bail for A2 as well. So for today, I mean for A3 in much of that. For today, we are going to make the application on behalf of A1. Uh, Your Honor, this application is based on the following legal framework. I will not go through the details of the text of each of the legislation because these legislations are well known in the interest of time. And the first instrument we are relying on is Article 23, Clause 6, Sub Clause of the Constitution. And then Article 28, Clause 3 of the Constitution. All these pieces of legislation. The first article is 23.6a, which says that where a person is arrested in respect of a criminal offence, the person is entitled to apply to the court to be released on bail, and the court may grant that person bail on such conditions as the court considers reasonable. And the second one, uh, your worship is Article 28, Clause 3, which presumes every accused innocent until he is proved guilty or until he has admitted his offence. Uh, Your Worship, the third piece of legislation we are relying on is Section 75 of the Magistrates' Courts Act, which says that the Magistrates' Courts before which a person appears or is brought, charged with an offence, may at any stage of the proceedings release that person on bail. I you worship the third one is section 77 of the MCA, which lays down the conditions which an accused must satisfy before he is released on bail. And the other instrument we seek to rely on, Your Honor, is the High Court Anti-Corruption Division Rules of 2021. And finally, we are grounding our application on the bail guidelines for courts of judicature practice directions of 2022. Uh, Your Honor, in terms of the guidelines, uh, they were very specific considerations for bail. That's Rule 13 of the bail guidelines. 
the court shall consider the following in handling a bail application. One is the gravity of the offense, and the two, the nature of the offense. Uh, the response to this is our submission that the, the offenses with which our clients are charged are bailable by this court. So this court has the jurisdiction to grant them bail. The second consideration given by the guidelines is the antecedents of the applicant so far as they are known. Your Honor, our client, Goretti Mary Tutu Kimono, is a Ugandan citizen, age 62. In terms of the bail guidelines, she's therefore of advanced age, and on that ground alone, his court should be inclined to grant her bail, and other reasons which I'm going to give. She is a very prominent citizen of this country, having served in very many respectful offices of responsibility as Minister of State, as Minister, up to the point we are now, she is a Minister in the Executive of the Uganda Government. Uh, she is also a very decorated scientist and academician. She worked. I don't know why I find your face a little bit fast. Ah, sorry, Your I'll go slowly, Your Honor. She took it. One second. The Minister of Karamoja Affairs has just been charged with loss of public property conspiracy to defraud in respect to the diversion of iron sheets meant for Karamoja. She has pleaded not guilty to the charges. She has also been charged together with um, the Senior Assistant Secretary at the Office of the Prime Minister and her brother. For this particular case, uh, Investigations are still going on, but they are in advanced stage. So we are not yet ready to start the prosecution. Where is the third accused in this case? Abaho, Mr. Abaho. Well, um, he seems to have had a family tragedy, and so he was not able to appear in court today. But the court has issued a criminal summons. Uh, requiring him to attend court to answer to the charge. Where is the minister being taken? Which prison do you say? They are working. Okay, 